What's going to happen in this summit, and is it a good thing for Trump and Putin to meet? It's a really good thing for Trump and Putin to meet because Putin has thousands of nuclear weapons aimed at us. He's modernizing his nuclear forces. We're modernizing to counter that, and it's very important that these two guys get to know each other and to talk through issues. And what about election interference? Bolton said that is likely to come up. Putin has lied about this multiple times. Can we expect anything different from him during a uh, summit with Trump? No, I've got to expect lies from Russian leaders. We always have. But Reagan pr uh, put the blame on Gorbachev for Soviet propaganda and subversion against us back in the 80s and held Gorbachev personally accountable. And lo and behold, Gorbachev had the Soviets knock it off. So there's a lot to expect from this. Well, I guess there's some precedent there. All right, let's, let's pivot to North Korea. We want to keep on these national security uh, topics here. There's a report from The Guardian uh, that says North Korea is making upgrades to their nuclear reactor despite the pledges that Kim Jong-un made to President Trump during their summit just a couple of weeks ago. These are actually satellite images that are analyzed by a watchdog group called 38 North. Uh, and this is what 38 North reports. The cooling system for the plutonium production reactor has been modified, and they can see the difference between the two pictures. And at least two new non-industrial buildings have been built on the site, possibly for use by visiting officials. A new engineering office building has been completed, and construction has continued on support facilities throughout this complex, meaning the nuclear complex. Mike, how will this impact negotiations between Trump and the North Korean regime? Well, it's really important. First of all, presuming the Guardian report is accurate, it's doing a tremendous service to President Trump and to the whole world by exposing this problem. Otherwise, it would remain classified by U.S. intelligence. So it's done a great favor so that now we can publicly hold Kim Jong-un accountable and hold the U.S. government leadership accountable to make sure that this thing is shut down uh, or else everything's going to fall to pieces and Trump's going to have to get really tough. Right, because this is what we've seen historically from uh, the Kim regime, whether we're talking about Kim Jong-un or his father or his grandfather, there's been a lot of promises made about getting rid of their nuclear program and not a lot of action, not a lot of following through on those promises. I think this is why we need an actual deal, not just a summit. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.